The challenge-based learning framework is divided into three interconnected phases – engage, investigate and act. Each phase includes activities that prepares the learners to move to the next phase. Within each of the phases there are opportunities for mini-investigation cycles and, if necessary, to return to an earlier step. Supporting the entire process is an ongoing procedure of documentation, reflection and sharing. In the engage phase, the learners start with an abstract big idea. A big idea is a broad theme or concept that can be explored in multiple ways and is important to the learner and the wider community. Examples of big ideas include resilient communities, energy, sustainability, circular economy, mobility and transport, and extreme weather. Based on this big idea, the learners generate a wide variety of essential questions to elaborate the complexity of the big idea and which reflect the personal interests of the students and the need of the community. Who are the stakeholders? Why is this important to me? Where does this concept intersect with my world? Why is it relevant to work on this problem? Based on these essential questions, the learners define their actionable challenge, a concrete problem definition that is a call to action to learn deeply about the subject. An actionable challenge is immediate, realistic and builds excitement. In the second phase, investigation, the learners begin with formulating guiding questions. Questions that include everything that needs to be learned to really understand and analyse the actionable challenge and develop an informed solution. Based on these guiding questions, the learners define and find guiding resources slash activities. Any resource or activity that helps answer the guiding questions. Examples of guiding resources include courses and online content, databases, textbooks and social networks. Examples of guiding activities include simulations, experiments, projects, problem sets, research and games. Once all of the guiding questions have been addressed and the results of the guiding activities recorded, the learners continue with the step Synthesize, where they analyse the accumulated data and answer all the guiding questions and build a foundation for possible solutions. In the third phase, Act, the learners begin developing solution concepts. Solution concepts are sketches of possible solutions to their actionable challenge, including relevant criteria. After the solution concept is approved in consultation with the stakeholders, the learners develop prototypes, experiment and test in the step solution design. This iterative design cycle will, in some cases, raise new guiding questions, require further research and swing them back into the investigation phase. After developing their solutions, the learners implement the most appropriate one in real life, measure outcomes, evaluate on what worked and what didn't, and determine their impact on the challenge in the step implementation and evaluation. When implementation is complete, learners can continue to refine the solution or develop a completion report and will share their work with the rest of the world. It is very important in challenge-based learning that learners document all experiences in every step using audio, video, images and photography and also reflect on the steps taken, their cooperation and their learning. The ongoing collection of content and documentation of the learning process provides the necessary resources for this reflection.